Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a review of this Southwire Boroscope Inspection Camera. In this video review, I will be going over the features and functions of this awesome tool and I will be showing you how to use it. Let's get right to it. As you can see, I like the design of the inspection camera simply because you can hold it with one hand and use your thumb to operate all of these buttons and then you can actually control the camera with your other hand or if the camera is in a good position, it's in a set position, you can do whatever you want with your other hand as you're operating the tool. Now before I go ahead and show you how to use the tool and turn it on, I do want to show you that if you turn this counterclockwise you can actually remove the camera just like that and this is very useful for transportation and storage purposes and then you simply push it back in place and you can tighten it up just like that this is a very useful feature in my opinion because if you want to store it or transport it you can easily do that so I'm gonna actually turn the unit on right now let's just press and hold this power button down just like that and I'm gonna do my best to actually let's try one more time I'm gonna do my best to actually keep uh, the glare that glare right there I'm gonna try and keep it off of that screen so as you can see right here it the, the camera is absolutely awesome in my opinion let's try and give you a, the best view possible I'll put my hand under there just as you can see it's super 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 clear and I'm hoping that the video does it justice because it's extremely clear you can see my hand perfectly clearly now I do want to show you right over here here that at the edge right here there are these LEDs so it does work in very dark and confined spaces because of the LED illumination. Now I'm going to put my hand under there one more time just so you can see it's super 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 clear. Now this button uh, right over here flips the view so I'm just going to try and uh, push it to give you the best view possible. Let's try and get uh, a part of a tile so you can understand how it flips it. You can see that little triangle of the tiles right there uh, sorry, that little cross of the tiles right there, that T, if I push the button, it flips it, just as you can see right there. So that button is useful because if you are sort of in a weird orientation, you can push that button and it'll flip it to the orientation that will work with the way that you're using the camera. This button right here adjusts the brightness, so once again you can push this. Right now it's that sort of medium brightness and it just adjusts it all the way to the top then back from the bottom and upwards as, as, you, know, as you push it. And I like that button simply because there's not a brightness up or brightness down, you know, there aren't two buttons, it's just one button and it's really, really easy to use so it keeps this nice and simple this interface right here and this right here it looks like a magnifying glass is the zoom feature I'm just gonna adjust myself move my body right here so I can get a give show you guys a closer view this is the zoom feature so if you press that it goes from 1.0 zoom in increments of 0.2 so it went to 1.2 1.4 1.6 sorry 1.6 1.8 2.0 and then back to 1.0. So it goes from 1.0 zoom, which is just regular view, to 2.0 zoom, which is twice the, twice the zoom uh, as regular view in 0.2 increments, okay? Once again, there's just one button there. There's not a zoom up or zoom down, which is good because the interface is nice and simple. There are four buttons here, and that's all that you need to do literally everything that you can do with this. With regards to battery power, it runs on four, I'm gonna get back down here, it runs on four AA batteries, okay? So that is awesome because AA batteries are usually ones that you have sort of kicking around the house and it is quite a powerful unit considering that it only runs on four AA batteries. Now before I finish this video I do want to show you uh, three accessories that it does come with. To turn it off you just press and hold that and release it just like that. So it does come with these accessories. Now these are three accessories um, and they clip on to the end right here so you can use them to clip on to the end piece right here with the camera. This is a magnet which is useful for fishing things out that are magnetized so you know if you lose something in your in your kitchen sink there's no need to remove the P-trap anymore you can simply go through the drain portion and use the magnet to retrieve it or if you've lost if you've dropped something in a vent that's magnetized in a floor register you can send the camera down there with this magnet and retrieve it. This is super useful because it saves you a lot of time and instead of having to call a professional in to retrieve that item you can use this so it saves you a lot of money in the long run if you lose things frequently um, this right here is a hook so if you're trying to grab a piece of wiring let's say um, you can attach this to the end and the hook will allow you to grab the wiring and last but not least this is a mirror so this will give you a different viewing angle which can be very useful if you want to sort of look around the corner of something um, and you you know you can't get this to turn properly because uh, 
uh, because you can't get your hand in there, this is useful for looking around the corner. But that's basically it. Overall, it's an absolutely incredible tool, and I look forward to making future videos with this uh, that will demonstrate me using it in real life situations, like looking into an HVAC system, or looking into a wall cavity, or looking into a plumbing drain of some sort. I will be using this for future videos, so keep your eyes peeled. But I hope that you have enjoyed this review. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.